pictures. Yo, it's who it is, Trap Beckham, Mr. One Time for the Birthday Chick, Mr. Love Booties Matter. You already know I'm checking in on the Ugly Money Podcast. Let's get it. That, that, that ugly money. What up, what up, what up? I am Ugly Money Nietzsche, and welcome to yet another edition of the Ugly Money Podcast and my special guest of the evening, Duval County's own. Yes, sir. Def Jam recording artist. You may know him whoa, from whoa, hits whoa, like whoa, whoa, whoa. Lil Booty's Model. Whoa, no Def Jam. No Def no Jam. Jam. Look, let's get the story straight off let's, the rip. Let's get it right off the rip. No ladies Def and gentlemen, Jam. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, show your love for Trap Back Up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we big, said no Def Jam off nah, the rip. Nah, big shout out to Def Jam. You know, out, they, they helped me get to where I'm at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They helped me get my platform. So yeah. big shout out to Def Jam. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? No Def Jam went so low. Let's you go. know what I mean? Uh, big shout out to Empire. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. They helped me distribute out here. So yeah, man, we out here. So talk to me, talk to me. You know, obviously it's it's a lot of it's a lot of bidding wars things going on. One thing I can notice about you is uh you have mastered something where I call the hit single. Yes, sir. You are very skilled at that young man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 Trap Beckham is gonna give you at least one or two a year, like I got that, that 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 that's gonna be a mainstay in the club. Yeah, that's not not even a mainstay, like it's 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 one o'clock club <laughs> pat mm -hmm. you know prime time hours you gonna drop a trap back on record got to how do you construct that um i think that's just what i specialize in just like being raised in the club like i don't know man it just it'd be vibes it'd be like something like this where we just all hanging out we got the liquor we got the you know what i'm saying yeah. the smoke going and it'd just be vibes that's crazy that's crazy mm -hmm. that's crazy so it's just really natural yeah, yeah, it's just some like I might just freestyle something and it just wow. like yo, that's it. Wow. Like I just got an ear for the like the the type of beats that make yep. people move. You know what I'm saying? So now is that is yeah. that have anything to do with Duval? You know, one thing, one thing. There's two cities in the world that if you say if you say those cities, always gonna be somebody. No matter where you at, you can be in China. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. Brooklyn and it's Duval. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you go here, do. Duval. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everywhere Duval. you go, <laughs> yeah. talk to me about that. Talk to me about that, man, man. Duval, man, we got so much love for the city. It's like, I don't know, man. Everywhere you go, it's just it's it's a big thing, man. So big shout out to you know Duval County and you know the city that raised me. Yeah, man. Facts, 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 I learned every everything I know, man. That's that was my first time, you know, hitting the club and you know doing all the things that I do out here in the world. So yeah, so man. when Trap Beck was in the studio, mm -hmm. about to construct his next hit. Mm -hmm. What does he have in the studio? What, 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 what creates the vibe for these hits? Just in case, you know, I want to get nah, back into rapping. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the trap? Is there a trap Beckham hit maker package? Yeah, okay. First of all, first and foremost, yeah. in the package, Okay. you need to check. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got to check you I already in the mood. I love it. You in the mood as soon as the check hey, is. Hey, man, we need the ugly what? money off rip. Yeah, you need the ugly money off top. So, so the bag. <laughs> so then once the bag is secured. Yes, sir. Now you need uh, some Henny. Okay. Some smoke. Okay. And, um, you know, you need a dope engineer. You need a, you, you. You got you to gotta have a dope engineer. That's going to kill your vibe mm -hmm. if you don't. Mm. Everything else after that is a bonus. As long as you don't have like people who like doing the most in the studio with yeah. you, yeah, everything else, it should vibe. That's crazy. That's mm -hmm. crazy. That's crazy. Now, um, with, with with these records that you got in the clubs and, and and radio and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? I know you represented by my brother uh, TJ's DJ. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That and, and he's, he's, right a, he's a he's a super manager in himself. Definitely. You know what I'm we, go we go crazy. We go way back. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think he saw on you? To make you want to be a part of this project, you know what I'm saying? What 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 is what is that special thing? I know you don't like to blow your own horn, you know what I'm saying? Toot your own horn, but what is what does Trap Beckham provide that would make these labels jump the way they jumping? Super managers come and and be involved in what you got going on, you know what I'm saying? What is those special qualities that make Trap Beckham different from the rest? I think for me, like my biggest like. Plus, is like the songwriting ability. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like the songwriting ability and the, like to go in the studio and execute it. You know, me being the person mm -hmm. to go in there to do it is like that's that's a whole different art. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Than just being the entertainer. Like being able to write the songs Facts. and deliver the song. And half of the time, I'm producing the records. Wow. So like 
We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Yeah, man. <laughs> we so, talk about it. like, I think that is me. that probably was the biggest thing. You know what I'm saying? That or, Like, I know, like, most of the time I'm at a label, I'm having a meeting or something like that. Yeah. It'd be the records. Dang right, dang right. Now, now, I know you probably can't talk about them, but I'm pretty sure you can put some pen on some other things that we don't know about, that, mm -hmm. that the general public don't don't yeah. know about. You know what I'm saying? How, how them definitely. bags? Them bags, them bags, uh, them, them Ghost Rider bags cool? Or yeah, 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 definitely. You know, sometimes, you know, it just be off the love, too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, it, it depends on who it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, most of the time, it's a bag involved, but like, uh, <laughs> like, like bag. yeah, you know, but, um, you know, if it's if it's worth the yeah worth the work, so Fact. I do it. Yeah. Now, 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 this is one thing I also see because, like, like, like I say, you know, I be watching from afar and I pay attention. Uh, your marketing, and yeah. you, and we might be going over some of y'all heads, and it's cool. You, you'll catch up when it's time for you to catch up. Yeah. How you market your records, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They they become social media crazes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Where where does who where do where do where do these where do these these marketing plans of how you get these challenges and things of that nature to just just kind of upstart the records like come from? Is that like Well, I I got a group chat. Okay. So like in the group chat, we got like all of us like team Trap Beckham in. We just throw ideas out there, you know what I'm saying? Like we know that social media is something I'm trying to build myself, so like that's why the rollout I have to do with so much social media because I'm trying to build it. You know what I'm no saying? Fact, so fact. like, we hit, we just go gorilla with the um, just with the ideas, like, and we try try to be unique with what we do. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody got different rollouts, so we just try to do different things that's gonna catch to the people and make them want to dance to the records. Exactly. You know exactly. Well, you know the game, the game has changed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, I think the game always gonna be here, but it's definitely changed. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's definitely social media heavy. You Definitely, know, it, it big what? time, and and, and and you know some people unfortunately choose not to adapt, and a lot of times you know just just like with, with the dinosaurs, if you don't adapt, you become extinct. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that uh, that's something that you. Are, are definitely on the cutting edge of as far as adapting to the new change you know what i'm saying yeah now um i, I brought this young man's name up earlier uh mm -hmm. tj tj my boy tj yeah uh, uh, he's in the building hey tj man, come on come on boy, sit TJ. with us for a second man because i want to talk about i want to talk about yes, adaptation sir. I want to talk about adaptation. Adaptation. Because, you, ladies and gentlemen, TJ Chapman. Y'all ladies and gentlemen, TJ Chapman. Yeah. Mr. Legendary TJ's DJs is in the building. Yes, and, sir. And, and the mic's right there. They can hear you. They can hear you, brother. They can hear you. But um, the way the, the way the game the game's shifting, and, and you know, you being being a pioneer and forefather in, in, in this in this thing we like to call hip hop music. You know, southern hip hop music. How how do you adapt? How do you stay up to date? How do you? Because the game is always changing so fast. I mean, really, and this is something I tell people all the time, Google is your best friend. I mean, all kind of stuff is out there on the Internet. It's really a matter of you using it and listening to it and reading it and uh, um, to try to stay up on the trends or what's next. Or um, So for me, <clears throat> I do all this stuff. I'm, I, I always refer to myself as a cool nerd. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and so I, I've always been on the forefront of the, the technology and the game and, you know, first with the websites and all, all kind of stuff that people weren't even into. Um, yeah, so. I, the boys I, pay off. Them nerds is winning now, boy. <laughs> them yeah. nerds is winning. They were laughing back then. They were laughing back then. They ain't <laughs> laughing no more. <laughs> laughing all the way to the back. Now, uh, TJ, uh, young man Trap Beckham. What uh you know, and you've you've managed you know everybody from from B.O.B. to you know the biggest of the biggest. Uh, why Trap Beckham? I mean, really, uh, when I met him, <clears throat> uh, listened to his music, and I met him, um, it was like it, initially it was the vibe, you know exactly. what I'm saying? It was the vibe and it was the sound. Uh, I felt like he had his own sound and it could you know, be the start of a whole new movement. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's what that's what this whole rap shit, music shit's about. Ultimately, it's like everybody wants to be in it, but I tell them, you know, it's over, it's oversaturated and there's no, there's no room for them. A lot of times they get mad at me and cuss me out and call me all <laughs> You're just being honest. <laughs> but that shit's real. So then how do you, question is, how do you get in? You get in by creating your own lane. And, and that's what it's all about. 
Trap definitely got his own lane, definitely got his own sound, man, and and, and, and that's to be commended because there's so many copycats and carbon copies of this guy trying to sound like this guy, this guy trying to do what this guy do. Trap just do trap, seems like. Yeah, yeah, man, that's all I can do, man, just catch my vibe, man, I don't know, you know what I mean? Now, is there any, is there any time that you ever, like, because you got to trust yourself, you know what I'm saying, yeah. at the end of the day, to, to, to step outside the box and to, and to, and to, and to, Believe in your sound or what you got, you know what I'm saying? Do you, you ever have, was there ever a time where you're thinking like, ah, well, I could just, if I can make this record that sound like so-and-so, or is this always something that you stuck to your guns with as far as the artistry? Um, I wouldn't say it, it was like that. It's been times where I was like, man, let me let me make something that's this type of vibe, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. well, let me try to like go this, this type of route. Like if I, like, you know, say like if I make a reggae and do something off of like a reggae beat. Yeah. You know, I like I'm not Jamaican. Mm -hmm. Like so, that's influenced. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So it's like, <laughs> um, stuff like that. But like, I, I don't, I don't, I, I never, like, not for my singles. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I always wanted to be trapped back. Yeah. When do you know what's one? When do you know you got one? When the people move automatically. When the people reaction. Move, yeah, reaction. As soon as you play it, people gonna show you. They can tell. They tell you when they got lit. You got to listen to the streets, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Now, Florida, y'all both, both, both of y'all young gentlemen are from Florida. Uh, one thing I can say, Florida is, is, is really, they really seem like they, 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 they've they honed that that dance record really, really dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, you got so many artists coming out of Florida with, 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 with dance heavy music that, you know, with from the City Girls, the Chameleon. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You got so many, like, where, where does that, where does that come from as far as, as far as being from down now? I say the good weather. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, good yeah, yeah, it's good weather. Good weather make you want to party and vibe like to to just up tempo, you know. You want to turn up. Yeah. Girls wear next to nothing. You know what yeah. I'm that definitely it's probably cool. helps. Yeah. Um, but I mean, ultimately for me, it stems from just the, the foundation of music in Florida, which was the whole Miami bass sound. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, so that's the shit we was on from the uh, very beginning. Right. And even if you go back to the beginning days uh, of Atlanta. You know, DJ Toon for MC Shine D. That still was that Miami sound, but then that transitioned to the uh, beginning of, of the Atlanta sound. Yeah, no, facts, facts, facts. But facts. now, now the Florida sound is so fucking diverse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, from your rideways to your trap Beckham mm. to your Kodaks to, I mean, like, it's just, it's really so many. It's a melting pot. Yeah, so many, and everybody now has their own sound. So that, it ain't even that basic booty. Mm -hmm. Dance, you guess there are people that still do it and they're still laying for it. There, there's a subculture down there of of, of kind of like that booty or bass music still. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, I remember taking trips down to Miami and uh, uh, chilling with my boy uh, uh, Rhymer, DJ Rhymer. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out Rhymer. You know what I'm saying? And he was DJ. He was DJ one night. And you know, I'm, I, I was the artist at the time, and he yeah. was DJing and. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then he just gets out the DJ booth and starts Start rapping. Oh, okay. And then when he starts rapping, then he takes his shirt off and starts I'm like, I already know. Uh, yeah. so that's how my boy Rama. So, yeah. I, you know, and, and, but it was something. Yeah, but it was something I had never heard before, you know, coming from where I was coming from. It's just like, it's a whole subculture. I like that, oh, yeah. that dance twerk. Like, like y'all really know how to make them women move down there. You know what I'm saying? I've done a uh, tons of birthday parties. Yeah. <laughs> and uh of course you gotta play that song. Yeah. You gotta play that song. For sure, man. Like that's just <clears throat> it's just what it is down there, man. Like the girls get loose, uh buys, <laughs> buys me on ten. So, okay. Yeah. Shouts out shouts out to Florida and yeah. shouts out to Florida women. Yeah. Uh, uh I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna always remain a fan. Now now TJ, question. Um when you taking on a project. Cause I know you, I know, I know everybody's always, always in your inbox and DMs or whatever. Hey, bro, manage me, bro, manage me, bro, manage me. What, what, what do you look at? You know, what I'm saying when you take on a project like Trap Beckham and things of that nature, as far as an artist, um, bringing them on into, as, as far as you representing them and things of that nature. I mean, for me, it's um, you know them having something unique. Um, I love a multi-talented artist, really. For me, especially if you, you think about uh, <clears throat> B.O.B., mm -hmm. who rap, sing, write, produce, play all these different instruments, 
you know, to um, I had uh, got T Pain his deal with Jive Records. Shout out to Pain. Um, but T Pain is a producer, rapper, singer, songwriter, you know, um, and and so like even Trap, he's a producer, writer. Uh, artist even you know does his little his little singing thing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, I get on that little auto. You know, you, you, you better you, you better put some melody in now. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, but, I, but I so I like the multifaceted artists. You know that right there helps create multiple revenue streams. You know that's exactly. always beneficial as a, a manager. The um, <laughs> the and 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 then work ethic. No facts. I'm about work ethic. You know, um, I've been doing this shit so long and dealt with and, and, and seen so much. And, you know, everybody that's dope or wants this shit ain't built for it. Talk about it, man. And, Talk about you know, it, man. that's the worst shit in the world to put your time, energy, and resources. It ain't even got to be no money. Mm -hmm. But time, energy, and resources looking to get some type of return from that at some time that you cannot dictate when that shit's going to happen, if it's going to happen. Mm. You know what I mm. mean? Um, mm. That shit got to be worth it. And so many times when people ain't built for it, then it's just like all that shit was a fucking waste. Wow. And I don't have the patience or the time. <laughs> and I'm not willing to take the losses. You know what I'm saying? That I was as a jit trying to get on. Yeah, yeah. To lose a house and my car. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, uh, uh, with the B.O.B. stuff. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. But then winning and being able to buy shit, that shit 10, 24. Yeah, you know? no, facts. Now, now you said you said something uh, 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 that, that, that I, I love to key on. You was talking about work ethic. And, and uh, you know, Trap, I, I want to I wanna take, take this question with you. You know, I know to get to where you at right now, there's been some dark days. There's been some tough times. There's been some. There's been a lot of a lot of doors. You know, because every, when when everybody's up, everybody's happy. Oh yeah, he's winning. You know what I'm saying? We all want to be friends with Trap because he's winning. Yeah. But there was times that, that that those doors got closed, and those no's came back to back to back. Sure. And, and this is the Ugly Money Podcast, brother. And that's what we talk about. We talk about everything from your first dollar between your first million. You know, it's it's the process of success. T tell us about some of the hardships that you had to overcome to get to where you, you are and where you're going. Man. Come on, come on. This is the good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. Where do I start, man? I used to, my mom is a super nice lady, you know what I'm saying? So we had like 10 people staying with us in a two-bedroom apartment. So like, I'm 16 and like my room is six by six closet. So like real humble wow. beginnings, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like, to, to be staying where I stay here in Atlanta, I'm, I'm like, it's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So it's like, <clears throat> you know, from that to just, you know, I remember losing all my clothes, like, to water damage. It was like, oh wow, yeah, all my clothes were in this closet, and then, like, this um, AC had broke. This was, like, this was years later, like, I'd say 2015, I want to say. 2015 but yeah man i lost like all my clothes all my shoes and stuff i'm like man at the time you know i'm still a grown i'm grown yeah, that man exactly, so exactly. i got my my kid you know what i'm saying i got my son um and the music not doing so good so it's like at it, the, yeah Talk so it's it. like man you know i don't know how to overcome this you know what i'm saying i'm starting you know i'm chilling trapping whatever yeah you know what i'm saying and then boom out of nowhere, I get a call. Hey, what you doing tomorrow? Chilling. Hey, uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get you a ticket to L.A. I'm gonna fly you out to meet this uh, A&R for Def Jam. Next day, fly to L.A. Um, I ain't even have a bag. This is my first flight. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Talk my about it, bro. I'm in my mid twenties. This is my first flight. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So like, I'm a real Florida boy. And um, I get out to L.A., I meet the a and r my boy Tuo Clark, and um, this producer, C Cosign. And um, from there we clicked. I played them records. They loved it. They flew me out to New York uh, two weeks later to meet with the rest of the people at Def Jam. Mm. And I got signed, like, within just, like, within, like, a month of me just. Crazy. 
not having nothing. So it was crazy. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, like you, like just when I was just like at the lowest, it was crazy. Now those times, those times would would it get dark? Would but you know dark? what? What yeah. was even crazier? Like even even though like it, I overcame that, <clears throat> I got the deal. The night I got the deal, my auntie died. Wow. I was like, yo. I need a drink to that. I need a drink to that. I need a drink like, to that. Uh, let me get some Bob you, May right You're going to be down. You're going to be up. You're going to be down. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But you just got to you gotta live. You know what I mean? To find a way. You got to yeah. find a way. Yeah, you got to find a way. And you, you know, know what a lot saying? of times, Pull unfortunately, shots out during the Gemini sheet. That's our sex. You know what? Situation. I actually had some of this. You uh, need some. I, yeah, I definitely. Well, well, that's, that's that, that's that, that's I was that telling TJ about this right earlier. That's black on right there, man. It uh, it tastes uh, like it, yeah, yeah. yeah, it tastes like lemonade, but uh, but it but it <laughs> but it hit it a little different. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, like I, they was trying to like grill me about my drink. I was like, okay, that's good, right? Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. yeah it, I just it, need it some more of that. I need some of that pink lemonade, though. But you, when you uh, when you when you when you in these situations and and, you, and it seems like there is no light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. What 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 pushes you to keep going? What what, yeah. what pushes you to to continue? You know what I'm saying? What what made you not put the pin down and just go do some things in the street that you probably wouldn't do or go you know what I'm saying? What what made you not quit? For me it's like I got a I got a whole team. I got a whole team of people who depend on me. I got a family who depend on me. I got a son. You know, and I like this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like I accepted that a long time ago. Exactly. Like, bro, this is what I do. So there is no plan B. Ain't no plan B. Like it never was a plan B. I might have had a job, yeah, but that wasn't my plan B. You know what I'm saying? Big fact. Um, but yeah, like so, it's like that's how I pulled through. Just like just knowing that, yeah, people. Depend yeah, on like you. if I don't do this, then this don't happen. And I like if I let the whole thing fall, like now I really look stupid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> especially, especially, I might as well live that, under a bridge after that. It's crazy when you got people that believe in you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When you got when you got those individuals that believe in you. That's that's so crazy, like yeah. bro. I'm so blessed to have so many people that believe in me, bro. Like yeah, it's crazy. Like you'd be surprised, like how many people don't have support from their own people, bro. You know what I'm saying? So. Like just to it's have. It's a shame sometimes. Yeah, man. it's a, a time, shame, A lot of times, the, 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 the biggest fans will be strangers. Yeah. The biggest supporters will be strangers. Then your homeboy, yeah. then your homeboy, then your homeboy will act like he don't want to put your shirt on. I'm like, yeah. damn, bro. Like, you understand? If I make it, we all make it, and you don't want to. You can't pass out the flyer. No <laughs> like, really... damn, bro. I can pass you the blunt. I can pass man. you the blunt. Right. But you won't pass out the flyer? Don't make no but sense. But you want to be here. A lot of people don't understand that, man. You want to be in the VIP. <laughs> you want to be all in the video. Team. Right. But you won't pass you out. Wanna, you want to be man. at the yacht party with Diddy. <laughs> like, what? But they don't want to. Everybody want to eat. Don't nobody want to cook, man. Unfortunately, a lot of times like that, man. And if you find somebody that really want to cook with you, man, you keep them around. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because uh, good good help is hard to find, and good people are even even harder to find, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I wish you the best in everything you got coming up, brother. Please let us know what you got on the horizon. What's next for Trap Beckham? Yeah, man. I'm about to drop this. I'm about to drop this new record called uh, "Back It Up," featuring mm. Flo Millie. Dope record, crazy, crazy club joints. Back it up, back it up, uh. back it up, yeah, back it up, mm. back it up, Ooh. Back, it up. <laughs> back it up. You know, you know what it's gonna Come make on, them do. Man. So like, yeah, we got the "Back It Up" coming out. I got "Make America." Sh Talk to him. <laughs> he got he got to say it the right way, ladies and gentlemen. Because <laughs> Grills by Scotty got me. Come on, Scotty ATL, what up? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Free plug, Scotty. We waiting on you. <laughs> hey. But now uh, I got Make America Shake Again. Come on. About the uh, drop. It's a uh, EP. Crazy little yeah. project I'm putting together. Like you know, little controversy to it. So it's gonna be dope. Brother, I, yeah. I, I wish you nothing but success, but I, I, I and I wish you the best of luck, but I don't think you need it. You got a good head on your shoulders. You got a good team. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, you've been through some shit and came up out of it. Yeah. So you already understand how to move when it when it comes. You know what I'm saying? When that when that shit hits your desk, you know how to sc scoot it off. Yeah. You're going to be just fine, brother. Thank and you know you. what I'm saying? And in a couple of years from now, I'll be like, yeah, I know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he was on my pocket. The prices went up. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm going to make sure I get plenty of pictures and things of that nature so mm -hmm. I can flex. <laughs> when he had the Grammys and everything, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, TJ, you already know what it is, brother. Can, can continue.
continue to do the things that you're doing in the industry, man. And uh, you are a light for all of us. You know what I'm saying? It's independence, man. And keep and, and just keep keep it keep it going, bro. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you got people that that, that believe in you. You got people that 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 are fans. And uh, you're going to be all right, brother. I really appreciate it, man. Let them know where to follow you at before we get out of here. Everybody follow me on Instagram at Trap Beckham, T-R-A-P-B-E-C-K-H-A-M, just like Odell, just like David. You know what I'm saying? Uh, same thing on everything, Trap Beckham. And, yeah, I follow yeah. back. I reply. TJ, let them yeah. know where to follow you at. Hey, follow me. TJ's DJ's, TJS DJS. That's on Instagram and wherever else you want to look. Thank that you. is. You can follow me at Ugly Money Nietzsche. That's Ugly Money N I C H E. And uh, TJ, we're gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna politics some more. We're gonna we gonna we got some more things to unpack with TJ at a later date. But man, I appreciate both of y'all for coming through, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Try back on Ugly Money Podcast, yeah. brother. That was dope. That yeah, was yeah. dope okay, now that I got your attention, um, yeah, you should subscribe. I mean, you know, we got legends, we got future legends, we got a lot of dope content, a lot of dope interviews, and a lot of booty. So, uh, subscribe to the Ugly Money Podcast. <laughs>